to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some very exciting news. I don't know if you guys have kept up the last few days. You know, we've done the face cam videos. We did an online toy hunt. You know, we did a few videos, you know, where I was in front of the camera, so forth. So, I mean, I'm in front of the camera again, but I'm not going to be in front of the camera for a majority of this video. But I figured you guys would be excited about this because if you take a peek behind me, and the, the reason I said that is because in the last few videos behind me, you probably noticed that it was a wreck, that it wasn't in order, that the... Uh, the arena, if you will, was not set up. It was all a mess. There was all kinds of trash, man. It was really, really bad. Um, I transitioned the arena from the dining room back into the main office room, you know, with the figures and everything like that. And I figured you guys would want a tour of that as well as a little bit of an update and everything on, you know, the next PickFed show and all of these different things. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. You guys can see the lights. I, I apologize for the glares, you know, coming in right there. But I figured you guys would be excited. So let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm going to flip the camera around and let's go ahead and take a look at what we got going on. So as you guys will see all in front of you, all its glory, okay, so you're probably wondering, you know, I thought this was supposed to be the, the My Damn Nation arena and all of that. Well, Brad, you got to realize that we still have a few episodes left until we get to the big show, but I did want to go ahead, like, I didn't expect to get bombarded with some of the things I've been bombarded with to put a, like, a massive delay, so I do apologize for that. However, I do have the arena still set up. This is going to be way bigger when it is all said and done, but to get through these last few episodes, I did have to transition the arena. So we do have sort of the old style arena for these last few episodes, but I had to go ahead and put it up. It did take me a little bit, you know, uh, a lot of figures here, a lot of, you know, stuff to get through and everything like that. I'm still waiting on the Extreme Sets 3.0 to come in. I, I you know, I, it's been on pre-order, I feel like, forever, but I need two of them, so I don't know. If anybody has one out there that they would like to sell me or trade or whatever, man, I need a couple of those for sure because I was going to do, like, a custom one, and that is the reason why there was a big delay and then some COVID issues happened. It's a really long story that I don't even want to get into right now, but long story short, I was going to have a, a I'm, I'm trying to get a custom Vindication crowd background and a custom MDT live background, and I thought I would have that before My Damn Nation, but I don't know if that's going to take place, so that was the huge delay, or part of the huge delay was I was waiting on that to come in, I was waiting on that to come in, we hit a big snag, it didn't, it ended up not happening, I thought something was going to come in, it did not, and there's like a massive issue overseas with it, so I had to go back to the old background, which I do apologize for, but but we do have the arena all set up, which means that I can finally finish Vindication. So I've done all the backstage segments that I got to do. I just have a few things to do in the ring and we will be completed with the episode and we will get it up to you guys. But man, it has just been one long scenario, man. But again, you guys know that it will be worth it once we get there. But taking you guys through, you guys kind of remember what this looked like. I'm trying to get like a big wide shot if I can. But you guys remember the last video we showed, maybe I can pipe in some footage you guys know of the old arena or the way it used to look or it was just a flat table that had the shelf back there. I, for now, I'm keeping my mock AEW collection up there because I don't really have a, a choice at the moment because I don't have any storage whatsoever. However, if we go over here, guys, I'm kind of throwing it back. I don't think I've used this stage design in a really long time. You guys will notice the pink back there reflecting off. That kind of bothers me a little bit, but I think if I get a certain angle, I may be able to maneuver it. If I don't, not going to be the biggest deal. Again, I don't think you guys really give a damn about that. You just want to get the matches out here, get the episodes rolling so that we can get closer to our our goal there but old school ramp we did make this new ramp way with the blue tape on the outsides for vindication you got the blue reflectors there i think og fans will remember the blue reflect reflective material as we come down the stage down the ramp you do have your entrance way here down to the ring we got the blue steps old school vindication ring we got old school vindication referee going on right there we have another referee shirt there and then i have not piped in the crowd signs or anything or the iron man replica that the crowd you know the fan like to the fan that the fans like to use, but uh, there is that. And then, of course, we do have the announce area where yours truly will be sitting, as well as Brad over there in his red sweater. Looks just like him. Really proud of that custom. But you have your two announce tables, and then you have a little bit of depth to the crowd right there. And I am just so freaking enthralled that now I can not only, you know, get, like, other videos done in here, but now I can pick fed in here. Instead of having to go out to the dining room and transition the lights, like, carry all these lamps right here out into my dining room, fix that up do all those things and then when i'm ready to come back in here come back in here it's just a whole long process that i just it, it, i don't know it just put a huge halt in the momentum there 
but here is the arena from a side view and man i i know that uh let's go ahead and get him in here man gotta get kenny omega the elite champion who the hell knows what's gonna go through this man's brain the next episode but it's nice to see the elite champion back outside in the ring i know he's anxious to uh, get it going and some other people are very anxious to get it going but there is a shot of kenny over the top there and it looks very nice now again once this thing you know you know what i'm saying with the with the vision that i have for the big show it's gonna be absolutely insane now there's a lot of work that still needs to be done but i think that we need to get into the filming right we gotta get the vindication episodes through that way we can get to the big show and all of those little things that will come thereafter and i just gotta get going on this because it's just been way too long and i apologize for that but it will be worth it man the wait will always be worth it for the mdt pick fed episodes there so i hope you guys are very excited for it like i am i mean we built this far man we got you know we got to get to it and then you know i i don't know what the future holds after that exactly but i mean i have all these creative ideas that i got to get out man i got to get them to you guys because i want you guys to enjoy it i want you guys to see it it's going to be absolutely ludicrous once we get there but i figured you guys will be excited to see the arena built back up and then i can give you guys like a short little update but but there's where I cut it off. Of course, it's supposed to go all the way to the back there, but I, you know, it is what it is. You know, you can't control everything there. And then another thing that I'm kind of running into an issue with is uh, this big background piece right here. If I want to get back there and get to some figures, I don't know how I'm going to do it. We'll build that bridge when we get to it. You know, the only thing that I'm afraid of is that if I come over here, what if I'm trying to get up right here? What if I try to get up behind there and get a figure that I need for a video and then I bump this, that bumps that, that bumps this, and it just goes... I'm going to have to just climb to the top of the shelves over there and just do a Darby Allen coffin drop through this table. And uh, that would be something that you probably like to see, but you, you get the idea. That would be very bad. This, t this t like Sending an arena up like this takes a long time. If anybody's done it, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm kind of on a time crunch, so I don't think it matters that much, man. We got, we got to get this filming done, and I can't wait to get into it, man. It's going to be excellent. Can't wait to get started, and it's going to be freaking epic the, the the episode this plan you know episode 17 is planned i have the rest of the scripts we have four episodes we're gonna roll with this thing and we're gonna freaking get it done man but i knew you guys would be excited to see the update see the arena built up and i would love to know what you guys think if you guys would like uh, i don't know i maybe i can give you a couple teasers on this episode episode 17 we are going to see orange cassidy's debut we are going to see an open challenge for the revolutionary championship for the newly crowned aj styles and we are also going to be seeing a qualifier of some sort that has to do with my damn nation so if you guys want to you can speculate down in the comment section below what you guys expect out of that and if you guys are hyped up and who you want to see in action and all those different things but i also had an idea for me and brad to do an updated draft video now it wouldn't be pick fed related it would be completely like non-canon it would be fantasy if you guys want to see another draft not pick fed related because i gotta i gotta finish these storylines i can't give up on these storylines i gotta finish these storylines before we do any kind of shake up or md T draft pick fed shake up but if you guys would like to see a regular draft where we take all of our figures and have just a fantasy draft and we you know we draft rosters and we do like a wrestlemania card for you know all of our champions and stuff let me know if you guys would love to see that down in the comment section below but i think that is going to do it for today's video man let me flip this thing back around like i said i think that is going to do it for today's video man just really excited for it you know it is what it is i apologize for the long timing you know i'm upset with myself just had to take care of some things man had to take some, some had to take care of some things some things were out of my control completely and everything like i described in my last update video but i think now that we got the arena set up we got our transition there it is time to hit the ground running man and it's going to be absolutely epic once we get there but that is going to do it for today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy let me know what you think down in the comment section below of the arena being put up what do you think of those matches that were announced and you know speculate what you think is going to happen but catch yourselves up on the pick fed man start watching some episodes at least from i'd say at least from the three episodes or six episodes before hell's gate i'd watch all those episodes and then watch hell's gate and then watch episode 16 of vindication and mdt live just so you can be caught up and you know have everything thriving and re reveling in your skull there but i'm getting out of here guys thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and don't cross the line like mdt did when he took that long to upload a damn pick fed you cross the line i've been